OK, let's take a look at adding some snow to our text. The first thing we're going to do is come to the Layers panel. We're going to put a new empty layer directly on top of our text layer by clicking on this icon here. And it goes, by default, it is called Layer 1. Next, we're going to come across to the toolbox. Where we've got the default colours, if you've got any other colours, just press D on the keyboard. That will restore the default colours of black and white. Now press X, so white is now the foreground colour. We're going to come up. We're going to pick up the brush tool. There it is. We're in with the brush tool. You can see the settings on the top here. It's a 70 pixel brush. If I just click in the window there, you can see the hardness is set at 79%. There's the 70 pixel brush. Just pressing enter or return will get rid of that panel. Zooming in a bit to this area here. Incidentally, you can see the same panel by right clicking. There it is. You can change your brush size here. You can change the hardness here as well if you want to. Don't forget, it's enter or return to remove that panel. Clicking down, we can start to paint in the snow. It's as quick and as easy as this, just coming round that area like that. You can, of course, use any word you want to. You could put Happy Christmas, you could put Happy Holidays, you could put sort of uh, Winter Holidays, whatever it is. I've just done snow because if I did Happy Christmas, it would take me far too long for the video, so four letters I thought would be quicker and easier. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Coming through like this, just over the top and just filling in the bottom there of the W. Well, it's not the bottom, it's halfway up. And again, the bottom of the O there, a little bit on the N, just over the bottom part there of the S and through like this. And this is the first stage. Right, for the next stage, back to the Layers panel. Let's come to layer 1. I'll tell you what, let's click on it. Let's call it uh, Snow FX, so you know exactly what you've done on this particular layer. Talking of Snow FX, we're going to drop down to the FX icon at the bottom of the Layers panel. Clicking on this is Layer Styles. It's the bevel and emboss that we're after. Clicking on that, you'll notice the way the bevel and emboss has kicked in. We can click on the depth, and you can see the way that sort of increases there as you move it back and forth. We're using the style, the inner bevel technique is smooth, but we're going to drop the depth right the way down to that sort of area there. 20, let's have a look, 21, 31, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Yes, you can see it's a nice sort of rounded effect. If you just click the preview, you can see the difference. It looks pretty flat there. That looks better. Soften doesn't do a huge amount, uh, but put it in there just in case and the angle this is the angle of the shadow for the lighting coming through there you can of course change it here as well okay let's click okay to that for the next stage we're going to come across we're going to pick up the smudge tool it's in with the blur the sharpen tool there it is there the smudge tool we're using the strength of 50 percent you can see the size of the brush there let's just uh, zoom our way over a little bit and also take ourselves out a touch or two. That's better like that. Just clicking down and dragging this down and you can see the way we can begin to break up the edge giving that sort of snowy sort of look to it. You can go over some parts several times blending them in giving sort of longer pieces through like that. But it's just a great way of giving that sort of snowy impression. Through we come dragging this down up over the edge and then a little bit more closer you get together the more you get through you can build that down round we go right where you do things that don't look particularly good like that just move on and pretend or hope nobody's noticed <laughs> don't worry you can come back to it you can edit it it's a great way I, I do like this it is fully adjustable which is as you all know from if you've seen any of my other videos I do like to keep things that are fully adjustable then you can come back and you can take a look and think oh wish I'd done this or should have done that and then you can I'm actually using a graphics tablet for this so I'm just clicking down dragging it down but you can use exactly the same technique with a mouse just click right click drag it down release it and just experiment with the the depth you're pulling it down you can see the sort of effects we can get there just going to increase the size of the brush just to make things a little bit quicker so just bringing it through like this now I bet you're glad that I didn't use the words Happy Christmas, otherwise I would have been all day. Moving it to the side there, and again just pulling it down. It does tend to work better with a slightly smaller brush. I'll tell you what, let's drop it down very slightly. 
just dragging it straight down like this. Whoops, again, a little bit of a curl I didn't mean to put on, so it's just, there you are, it's blowing in the wind. Great stuff. Right, dragging down the bottom from this part, and just coming over here as well. Would look great on Christmas cards, greeting cards, that sort of thing. We got snowy text. Also comes from a request as well. That uh, I was asked about putting text on snow, and I thought, right, yeah, I've done a video on that. So went to point the person in the direction of the video, only to realise that, gosh, it was a few years ago since I've last done it. So I thought I'd do a remake with slightly different techniques. So here we are. Just coming through again, just pulling that down like that's nearly done. There is sort of editing we can do with this as well. As I said, if there's parts you do to it that you don't like, what you can do is you can always come into it. I'll show you now, just quickly coming through this. You know, it gives a, a really nice sort of snowy sort of feel to the, the text. And there you are, just finish off on that. Job done. Right, next stage is if you've done something you don't like, there was one part there I didn't like, press E on the keyboard will give you the eraser tool. You can then come in. You can get rid of that. As simple as that. You can come across if there's parts you don't like, but there's another bit there coming down. Let's just bring that up. There it is. You can also just let's just have a look. See well that there, I'm not particularly keen on that. You can get rid of the whole thing like this. You can even take the whole lot out if you want to. Press B on the keyboard will give you back your brush tool. You can just fill a little bit of that in there, a little bit of that in there. Come back for your smudge tool, taking the smudge tool right down in size using the left hand square bracket. Now we can just bring this down as well. And this is what I mean by it is completely editable. So if you see a part of it you don't like, you can come back into it, you can change it, you can adjust it as simply as that. Pressing E again for your eraser tool. And the eraser tool, right clicking, yeah, it's a brush. Got a slightly sort of softer edge on this, taking up to 36%. So just coming in and just removing the part there that you sort of, you don't want in the picture. Not particularly clever with that. So I'm going to press B on the keyboard again and dropping this down in size just to fill in that little area like that's better, like that. And there it is. Next thing, whenever you've applied any sort of paint to the picture, it's a solid colour. It's white. It is a solid colour. Try using filter. Go to noise. Go to add stay. Go to add noise. When add noise opens, click on it so you can see it. We're using a very small amount, 2.45%. If we just take this up a little bit, if we uncheck monochromatic, there it is with hundreds and thousands in your snow not what you're after. We're also using Gaussian. Click on monochromatic, you get a little bit of uh, soot blended in with the snow. Dropping that down though to, I think the minimum we can get is about two, four, five, yeah there it is. You see it just breaks up that sort of blandness of the uh, of the white paint there and as snow is, when you look at it, it's not a solid white colour. You do see little speckles just like that, so in it goes. There it is, job done. Command 0, Control 0, we'll go back to fit on screen. There's our finished image with snow added to our text. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.